It just said minus 28 in Kent. <laughs> now it says minus 25, but you get the uh, you get the point. Minus 25. It's wicked cold out there this morning. Eight degrees below zero is the actual temperature. Stores minus four. West Haven one zero in Hartford. It's just really, really tough. So make sure you bundle up this morning if you have to head outside. Waterbury, good morning to you. We'll take a look at a little time-lapse photography. Sun's coming up in just about 45 minutes, and we are starting to see a little brightening in the sky. Going to be a beautiful, beautiful sunrise. You can see there. Just a little brightening in the sky. Beautiful, beautiful sunrise this morning with clear skies. Our Channel 3 early morning dual pole radar scanning the state dry. We have a wind chill advisory in effect for most of the state with the exception of the immediate shoreline. And the further north and west you go, the tougher it gets. There is a wind chill warning in effect for northern Litchfield County. Good morning, everybody. That's serious business. Slick roads this morning from yesterday's snow squalls. Bitter cold today. And a bitter cold night is coming up tonight, so you got to get ready because it is just going to be a really tough day. Minus three now at Bradley. This is a record. It sent the old record of five packing. It's now down to three in Bridgeport, so we've already got one record out there for you this morning. Minus three at Bradley is not a record. The record is minus 12. We're not going to get there this morning, but boy, it's cold enough as it is. Throughout the Northeast, misery loves company. Everybody's in the negative numbers for the most part, if not single upper, uh, single upper temperatures there. 20 degrees below in Chicago. That's the actual temperature. 23 in Minneapolis-St. Paul. If you have travel interests in this part of the country, you better call ahead because there are several flight cancellations due to the cold. Not only is it 20 degrees below zero, but it feels like 37 degrees below zero. It's 20 degrees below the actual temperature, 37 degrees below in Chicago. This is some wild, wicked cold weather. Here on the East Coast, we're dealing with sub-zero wind chill values, uh, but it's not quite as tough. It's tough, not quite as tough as we are seeing in Chicago, Minneapolis, St. Paul. The winds are sustained this morning, anywhere from 8 to 13. Therein lies the problem. We have a couple of gusts, 18 to 21 along the shoreline. That's making it feel oh so much colder. 20 below in Torrington, 22 below in Salisbury, 15 degrees below at Bradley, 17 degrees below in Meriden. Everybody is in the negative real feel column, and it's really significant out there, so you got to make sure you bundle on up. Oh, boy, that's tough. Beautiful eye cam. Look at New Haven. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? We'll take you to Hartford. Clear. It is just gorgeous out there. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day today, but the roads, you know, that you get that little sheen out there. Roads conditions, secondary and tertiary roads, they're going to be compromised from yesterday's snow squalls. Satellite and radar, not a lot going on. Early morning future cast, I'm not going to bore you. There's nothing on it. So let's move ahead to uh, the wind chill future cast. Throughout the day today, we're talking about uh, uh, wind chill values that are going to remain in the negative category, if not the low single digits. It is going to be a really tough day. And as you can see here, it's going to be another chilly night tonight. Uh, as wind chill values are going to get a little bit better, but still below zero. So make sure you make sure you bring those pets in and keep them in. Highs today climb into the single digits and low to mid to upper teens. And then your seven day forecast includes moderation. We're going to start warming things up around here. 23, 34, 40, hike, 48 degrees on Monday with some morning showers, maybe a little bit of mixed precipitation Sunday night into early Monday morning. Doesn't look like a big deal, but we'll keep you posted. Tuesday morning, there could be some rain around 54 degrees. 54 degrees on Tuesday. It's a little different than today. A little different than today. <laughs> 55 expected for the shoreline. Incredibly warm temperatures headed in our direction. 